Hi guys and welcome back to Level Up. It is Wednesday. We're still talking about weather this week, but we're going to do our sight words again. You need to get in your bag and get out your pipe cleaners. Remember your pipe cleaners are the fuzzy, bendy things that look like straws. And you're going to make them into the letters to spell out your words. Okay, so if you need to pause the video, make sure you do all five words. Really quickly, we'll go through them. Have, this, and, are, and play. So go ahead and spell those out using your pipe cleaners. So they would pause right there, right? And then, all right, guys, you did a great job on your sight words. We're going to go ahead and do another movement break. So yesterday you worked on making a big old thunderstorm in your house. I want you to go ahead and pause the video if you need to. And we're going to do big storm clouds. We're going to sway in the wind. So go ahead and make some big storm clouds and sway in the wind. And you can pause your video and do this movement break for however long you need to. All right, guys, it's time for reading. So get out your Ada Twist Scientist book. And we're going to talk about setting today. So what is the setting of a story? If you think you know what setting means, tell me. Let's see if you're right. The setting of a story is where the story takes place. So where are the characters in our story? So you can get your book out, flip through, and look. For um, the beginning of the story, like this page, we see there's a bed, there's some cabinets and a dresser and some toys, so it looks like it's probably in her bedroom, right? And then we have this page, right? There's a big clock and a chair, some toys, so maybe that's somewhere in their living room or somewhere in their house. So the setting at the beginning of the story is mostly in their house, right? with the rest of their family. Now later in the story, if you flip back to the back, to the back, some of the, um, some parts of our story, you see Ada Twist with lots of friends and they're usually working on some science stuff. Now, where do you usually work on things with a bunch of friends? At school, right? So some of the story takes place in the school. So sometimes uh, stories have more than one setting. So it just depends where you're looking in the story. So this one took place at her home and at school. Great job. Come on to our writing. If you remember yesterday, we were writing about our favorite summer food. So I started it yesterday for you and I put my favorite food is. Your writing should look like mine at the beginning. But I finished mine and I wrote watermelon. You could have written anything. You could have written strawberries, popsicles, anything that you like to eat in the summer. Okay, so it says my favorite food is watermelon. Remember I started my sentence with a capital letter. I used my finger spacing between my words. And I ended my sentence with a period. Today, we're going to add one more sentence about our favorite summer food. So you're going to tell me something about it. Why do you like it? Okay? So my favorite food is watermelon. We're going to do finger spacing. And we're going to write I, capital I, finger spacing, like, L-I-K-E, I like, Finger spacing, it, I, T. I like it because E, E, C, A, U, S, E. That's a long word, so take as much time as you need, okay? So my favorite food is watermelon. I like it because, tell me why you like your favorite food. I like watermelon because it's sweet and juicy. So I like it because, finger spacing, it is sweet and juicy. And then I put a period at the end of my sentence. 
Now, if you told me that your favorite summer food is chicken, would you write that it's sweet and juicy? Probably not. Chicken might be juicy, but I doubt that it's sweet, okay? So it has to make sense with your food. You don't just write what I wrote, okay? So my favorite food is watermelon. I like it because it is sweet and juicy. Good. All right, if you need a few minutes to finish that, go ahead and pause the video so you can do that. You should have two sentences when you're done. And then the last thing we're going to do for the day is our self-selected reading. Remember, on Monday and Tuesday, you watched a video or read a book from your bag, and then you colored your fence posts. Today is day three. Okay, so you're going to go onto that YouTube site, find the video that you want to watch of a friend reading a book, or get one of your books out of your bag and read that to yourself. And then when you get finished reading, you're going to go back and call our number three. Okay? All right, guys, that's all for today. Happy Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow.